Hey, I'm Donald Bell, Senior Editor for Digital Audio MP3, and today we're taking a more in-depth look at the fourth generation Apple iPod Nano. Apple probably got sick of all the jokes people made about the shorter Squatter Nano that came out last year, because the fourth generation Nano has returned to the long and skinny design that made the original household name. They've also dressed it up in a ton of colors, nine in total, but for some reason, I like the silver and black one best. Apple has kept the same 149 and 199 price points for the Nano, but doubled the capacity up to 8 gigabytes and 16 gigabytes respectively. To distinguish the fourth generation Nano from the previous models, Apple has given it a very pronounced rounded enclosure that from the side looks a little bit like a cross section of an airplane wing. The curve carries through on the scroll wheel and on the select button, and even the screen, which is covering a piece of curved glass that should be more scratch resistant than the plastic screens found on the previous models of iPods. Beneath the Nano's rounded glass is the same bright and crisp 2-inch color display found on last year's model, only it's been turned on its side. Holding the Nano sideways to watch video is a little awkward since the controls are turned sideways too, but you get used to it and it's a small sacrifice to make for a much more attractive design. Apple's also added a tilt sensor to the 4th Gen Nano that flips videos and photos around depending on how you're holding it. Tilting the Nano sideways in the main menu takes you to a cover flow view of your music collection and a new shake to shuffle feature will play a random song from your collection whenever you give the player a good shake. But if you're concerned about shuffling your music by accident, you can turn on the hold switch or deactivate the shake feature under the Nano settings. All of the features of the previous Nano are here in the fourth generation, including music playback, audio and video podcasts, photos, videos, games, and support for iTunes movie rentals. Also, a little extra such as clocks, contacts, and calendars are here, as well as EQ presets. We're happy to see that Apple has added some nice accessibility features for vision impaired users, such as a larger font mode and a unique spoken menus feature which reads back menu and selection information videos, photos, with a synthesized voice. This feature only works for the Nano so far and has to be enabled through iTunes in order to work. Another new addition to the iPod Nano is a feature called Genius, which automatically generates 25 song playlists based on the musical similarities of songs in your collection. The feature is fun to use, but sometimes it gets stumped by obscure artists or lack of similar artists in your collection. Finally, Apple's added a voice recording feature to the Nano. However, you'll have to buy a compatible Apple-approved headset in order to activate it. Battery-wise, you can expect around 24 hours of music and 4 hours of video from the Nano, which is pretty incredible given how thin and light it is. I'm Donald Bell, and that was a first look at the fourth generation of the Apple iPod Nano.